it's really a magnificent structure to look at. It's a beauty of the country. A network of bridges weaves together communities, bridging the gaps over rivers and swamps across Uganda. Among these, one stands out, the source of the Nile Bridge, also known as the New Ginger Bridge. So we must be proud as a country that we can be able to pull this off and have this kind of a, of a structure. It's not only going to improve on transportation, uh, facilitating easy transportation of goods and services and people, but it will also be a tourist attraction. Commissioned by President Yori Kogtom Seveni on 17th October 2018, this cable stayed wonder spans the Victoria Nile, complementing the historic Nalubale Bridge, which has stood since 1954. <laughs> Nestled in Jinja, the source of the Nile Bridge is Africa's fifth largest bridge, a testament to the significance of its location where the mighty Nile River has its origin. The new Jinja Bridge, a 525-meter-long cable-stayed marvel, marks Uganda's first cable state bridge. It is, it is a high, um, it's a very efficient bridge. Kubanga, Rumanyi, Embuyaga, Bweba, Nyingi, Tuja Kufuna Information, Oba, Musiwaja, Tufuna Information immediately, Oba, um, Lightning, it's called Lightning Arrestors. So it is a very smart bridge. Ruo Gera, Rutu Bulida, Chiriwo. Situated 80 kilometers east of Kampala, this three-span, 525-meter-long cable stayed bridge heralds a new era of connectivity. Before the Isimba Bridge, travelers endured a grueling four-hour journey spanning 115 kilometers from Kayunga to Kamuli via Jinja. Now this journey has been dramatically shortened to just 27 kilometers, fostering robust trade between Kayunga and the Busoga subregion. Commissioned by President Yori Kogtam Seveni on June the 7th, 2021, the Isimba Bridge stands as a testament to Uganda's commitment to infrastructure development. One, two, three, four, go. This architectural marvel boasts two bridges, one measuring 435 meters and the other 475 meters, interlinked by a road at Cove Island within the Victoria Nile. The Isimba Bridge facilitates all types of traffic, including double container trailers, addressing the limitations of the Mbulamuti Ferry. By overcoming challenges like fluctuating water levels of the River Nile, the Isimba Bridge slashes travel time to Kamuli and Eastern Uganda via Jinja, offering economic benefits to the region. Meanwhile, the aging Karuma Bridge in Nwoya district awaits reconstruction after several tragic accidents. We shall, we shall do the fixing of this, repair the reinforcement concrete here, and then work on the bearing the other side, and then the inspection, detailed inspection is being submitted to him by others this year. That, that concert and giving us, and it's going to Yet, be Challenges such as age and weather exact their toll as seen with the Karuma Bridge. Recent diversions have been necessary for motorists travelling rerouting them through alternate routes. We can start the repairs. There are some things we can get local. Because that's what the country wants to know. Can we start then so that when the bearing comes so hopefully by we give this the country about two months? and we'll open the place. Uh, the materials are okay. Most of, most of the stone, sand, cement, reinforcement, they already have. Yeah. Except the bearing, because the bearing are precise. Yes. You have to get the exact size. Yeah. They have to run a quick of check with the calculation. Then we jack it a bit. Yeah. And then they fix the new one. And the expansion drain is allowing what to go and soft the bearing. We have to build those units. With ongoing repairs, heavy vehicles are rerouted through the Machison Falls National Park 
ensuring safety amid structural concerns. As the number of vehicles have increased in the park, they have come with a lot of challenges, which we are trying to manage together with our sister forces, the police and the army, to make sure that we have a smooth transit of vehicles across the park. The proposed new Karuma Bridge, known as the second Karuma Bridge, promises to enhance regional transport infrastructure, replacing its outdated predecessor. The Nambigirwa Bridge, the longest in East Africa, forms a vital link in the Kampala and Tebe Expressway network, spanning 1.5 kilometers over challenging terrain. Bridges, at their core, are architectural marvels crafted to conquer nature's obstacles, be it waterways, valleys or rugged terrain, facilitating seamless passage where it once seemed impossible.